you can. Hey there, everyone, the Srao Cal, and welcome to 1998. It's Rockman 40! Got ourselves a database. Can go inside the database. So, this is the Japanese Famicom version, but with a fan translation attached. A big part of this game is making Santa Claus happy by collecting CDs. You wanna, you know, enhance his collection, I guess. But to 100% the game, you need to play as both, and it's kind of a big thing, so I don't know if it's gonna happen, but new game. To get 100% you need to play as both. If people want me to do both games and double the length again, you can choose. Rockman can fall on the ground and shoot a gun and give a thumbs up. Those are his special master abilities. We're coming to the museum, so... Rockman 40 is a pretty weird game. Released only in Japan for years and years and years. It was, like, it's a Super Nintendo game that reuses a lot of sprites from Mega Man 8. And, uh, there's these drill guys here at the museum. Can, like, look at all the graphics you can recognize from the PlayStation slash Saturn game I played, like, not that long ago. Uh, and there's even a fireman part, because it's a robot mu museum for all the stages that used to be. And that will become once again. Yeah, it was was just in Japan for a while. It was like basically impossible to play legit. But then it got released, I think, on a Game Boy Advance? Game Boy Color, no, probably Advance considering the graphics. Uh, uh, for the for the North American market. Except, you know, it's it's Game Boy resolution screen size though, so it wasn't like big enough, so it was kinda it's kinda impossible to play. So it's not recommended. It's just kind of weird. 1998, the year that a lot of things in 1998 happened. I don't remember most of them myself. But look how that sweet little, little screen transition across the world. This game does a lot of really weird things, by the way. Uh, it's like very light by some and kind of not liked at all by others. It's pretty divisive. There's spikes on the ceiling. You know what? You can get spiked on the ceiling. You want? You don't want to get spiked on the. If you're gonna get spiked, make sure it happens not on the ceiling. We got this little water. It's pretty nice. Isn't it? Water is nice, but not if it's under the William Pill literature. That's for sure. Boy, gosh, the boy Hardy. Do I need to say it? Cause I will say it again. Sailing on my little. Rubber raft in the intro stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this game is pretty weird, except you won't tell by just looking here. But you will eventually. Don't worry. I'm getting all this help. My name is Mega Man. I don't have like a whole bunch of additional details to me. My physical design is very simple and on purpose. I don't know what's on display there. This is display. There's something weird about the jump. There's rain! It's cyber rain, because it's not just blue. Like all colors. Wow, that jump doesn't feel it. So this is the menu. You got a next. Don't press start because yo, you got you got money and you got CDs and you got all that inventory. Everything you need uh, to need. Uh, like this is pretty silly jump because of the rain. You know, it's, I mean it's not the rain. It's the wind part of the rain. So if rain was just rain, it'd be fine. But then you add a wind to it, and it becomes the big giant rooster of malaise. Welcome to Mel's to Cloud's hot dog down there in the display, and there's another one. Blues. We okay. They didn't they didn't localize the names. That's interesting. That's far enough, King. First our why now I'm oh man, King, this evil robot here, up to no good. Uh, but he's got all the blueprints, so uh, he's gonna make all the combat robots. Why would he keep the blueprints for combat robots in the museum? <laughs> I'm not sure. Also, you'd think it'd be like on the internet rather than stored physically somewhere. Anyway, he's gonna make an invincible Reploid army. This is the prequel to Mega Nex. Join me if you want! I got a knife! Got a hammer! Got an axe! There you go. Blah! <laughs> bah! King ain't got no time for this nonsense. He ain't going anywhere. How about you, you little pests? Oh man, when Blues charges up, the world listens. 
And then he gets chopped in half. <laughs> You're in slightly worse shape than Iris was! Oh no! <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. She's literally cleaved in half. Uh, and he's all like, yeah, I'm good. Alright, you can even teleport. So you know what? Sure, yeah. He's alright. He's doing fine. Check it out, I got my wobbly donut friend. Uh, now I'm afraid I must see to assembling my great king army. Alright. <laughs> hey, it's the green devil. Remember when we fought him? Well, now he's the pregame boss. Watch out, he's gonna leak all his little- Wow, he's already at half health? What? Green Devil, remember when I make fun of you for being kinda not very good at what you do? This is like that, but like times 5,008. That's kinda weird, but hey, you can save if you want to. You gotta press the Y button, and then you got all these menus, it's like, whoa, did you see that? Then the music like, whoa, what's going on here? That's right. You heard of many, like, boss selection menus. How about a boss selection tech tree? Also, yeah, Astro Man is back, by the way. 